This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Mac the Knife Global. We're at the Peacock Gym here in Cannon Town. I'm joined by professional fighters Ben Smith and Billy Allington. How are you? Yeah, good, man. Yeah. You good? Yeah, we're good, man. Just finished our session. Feeling good. Feeling good, yeah. Yeah, feeling good. Got, yeah we've both got a while to our fight. Sparring's just starting now, so yeah, getting there. So you're 4-0 oh at the four minute, and oh, yeah. Ben, and you're 2-0 at the minute. 2-0 at the moment. Two and, yeah. and you fight at what weight? Uh, light welter, sir. So about 10 stone. 10 stone at the moment. But you must be around the same. Same, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, sparring partners. Same always partners, partners, yeah. yeah. Sparring partners. Yeah, that's it. But I mean, listen, we come to this gym every week and uh, there's good level sparring uh, for everyone that comes here from every weight to, to whatever weight. So you must be obviously as much as sparring each other, getting some good sparring in yeah, with others like, as well. For example, on Friday we've got um, Danny Connor. We've got the Wilkie. You can't there, mention yeah. Danny Connor on here. No, I can't. No. Can't mention him. No, <laughs> no, no, Connor's a prick. You can't <laughs> mention Danny Connor on here. So, uh, yeah, you no. can, you can t you oh, well, We've got good sparring anyway. We all spar we find different people. We've got Sam McNess as well. We've, yeah. got, like, we've got loads of people coming in and out of the gym. I mean, being with Mark as well, we've got people wanting to come just to contact him, Mark for sparring, and we just jump on the back of that. Yeah. It's, it's class, bringing us on all the time. And especially Billy's come on leaps and bounds over the last year or two. Yeah. He's unbelievable. It's really good. It's really good. It's great sparring. Yeah. So your, your third professional fight will be on the, the MTK show in Brentwood, That's right, uh, yeah. 17th of March, St. Patrick's Night. Yeah, it should be a good old night. Yeah. Good night of boxing. Looking forward to that one, you know, uh, especially being the MTK show as part of my management. So it'd be nice to jump on that as well, you know, and, and get things going for number three, first one of the year. Have you got an opponent for that? Uh, we've got a couple of opponents that we're sort of, sort of uh, having a look at and seeing, seeing what's going to progress me best, you know, and we want good rounds. So uh, we want to get in there with someone who's going to gonna have a good go and all. So it's going to be a good... Uh, just waiting on, on confirmation, really. Between me and Mark, we'll have a chat and then we'll sort it out from there. Yeah. Whoever it is, he's just stopping me. He's in my way, isn't he? So. <laughs> That's it. Anyone can get way. it. Anyone can That's get it. it. Uh, <laughs> have you got a date, Ben? I've been at May 6th for Copper Box Show. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's miles away yet. So at the moment, just in the gym, trying to progress and develop more. I'm still, I'm only 20 years old, so I've got loads and loads of time. I mean, just getting good spine at the moment, that's the main goal. And uh, then, I've got, I've, apparently, I've been told an opponent already, fighting the boy Sam McNess, gym partners, uh, had fought last time. Apparently, he's dropping weight. So I've been told Who's Sam Sam McNess. McNess. Yeah, who? Yeah, Amidi, yeah. Oh, Amidi, yeah. I've been told Amidi, yeah. but um, I mean, it, it, it changes all the time anyway, doesn't it? So at the moment, I haven't got a, a face in mind that I'm putting when I'm sparring, but um, yeah, at the moment, just progressing in the gym and yeah, moving forward like that. But yeah, 6th of, um, of May. Yeah. yeah, but I suppose you've got to keep ticking because you could get a call. Things could change. Boxing uh, could get a call, and it could that May date could become an April date or anything. Exactly. So. Well, uh, I know well, Frank Warren, he, the BT stuff. He's uh, he's I mean, he, the first show's in April, isn't it? So it could it could change. Yeah. It could change any second. And look, I'm always in the gym anyway. He's ready. Yeah, <laughs> he's ready. I'm always in the gym anyway. So yeah, uh, I'm uh, I'm ready to go whenever, and I'm I'm always hovering around the weight anyway. So it's not, it's good. I'm, I'm ready to go whenever. So you two spar each other. Who gets better at sparring mostly? <laughs> or is that a sore subject? <laughs> Can't be saying that. Can't be saying that. very good spar. We bring each other on both ways. Billy comes forward a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm the sure. boxer, so it works both ways. I mean, he he's, he roughs me up and stuff, and then another Final day I box size, him. Yeah, so Final it's fifty-fifty. Yeah. It's fifty-fifty all the time. It's great sparring. Great yeah. sparring. Yeah, it's absolutely. Good. It's great sparring. Um, what is there about sparring stories, isn't there? Because it's one of them things that you're not really meant to talk about outside of boxing or outside your sort of circle it's just and camp. Respect, really, isn't it? Yeah. Respect. I mean, you, your sparring's not there to beat each other, it's there to bring each other on. Even though we're very competitive when we do spar, we always, we always want to get the better of each other. But, I mean, it's all about bringing each other on. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I feel, I feel we've, got a great, we've got a great camp around us now, and uh, all fighters around the same weight, so it's great. And then we've got the likes of Dillian White uh, and Tom Baker, who's, who, who've been there. For a championship level, and so we can we learn off them as well. It's, great, it's a great little camp to be in, and yeah, enjoying every second at the moment. Definitely. Do you do you always understand what Dylan White's talking about? <laughs> no. He's a good character. No. <laughs> what, what do you think of Dylan White? Because I, I listen to no. him. Do you know he, he socially bullies me on the internet? You must have seen <laughs> it. He's I've constantly it. putting out <laughs> videos, and one day I'm going to snap, and he's, <laughs> Dylan White's going to know about it. But uh, he's no, got good energy, isn't he? he's listen, good he's energy. He, he's a good crack dealer, yeah, and he's, yeah. I said he's he's focused and he's sort of you know since the Joshua defeat he's 
come on and he's had a good win, great win over Chisora recently. Yeah. And uh, hopefully he'll be fighting for a world title soon yeah, as well. Yeah, fingers crossed for him, fingers crossed. It's, um, it's good. I'd like, just like to mention, um, I'm my sponsor, Core Atlantic, um, pay me weekly so it keeps me out of work and stuff. I want to say a massive thank you to them. Um, and also Maxi Musso, who just jumped on board now, um, helped me out with supplements and gave me a PT and a nutritionist. So, so a massive thank you to Core Atlantic and Maxi Musso for helping me out at the moment. Great. Definitely. All right, boys, have you got anything else you want to add? Um, I was just say fun fact, thank you to a couple of my sponsors. I've still got work in that, but that's all right, keeping busy, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I've got a Bespoke Plum who, who helps me out. I've got to travel up to London a couple of times a week, so helps out there. And also uh, Nathan Allen, design and build, keeps me going, you know. And, Someone in the family, I'm assuming. That's it, that's it, my old man, yeah. He's <laughs> yeah. been there from, from all the time, so he's like, right, I'll help you out as well. So he's, he stuck by me at the start. And for the rest of it and all. So yeah, I'm we're very, we're very lucky. We're surrounded very by lucky. sponsors. Yeah, surrounded by sponsors, and it's great. I'd like say Mark, Mark sponsored West One. West One as well. We're always yeah. helping each other out as well. So they were helping out the whole team. So it's good. We're very lucky. Listen, we pick up as many sponsors. We, we've got about eight yeah. sponsors, so yeah. we haven't yeah. got two. But um, it's important for the game because yeah. it, it enables fighters like you to go and Probably. train every day without having to worry about. Yeah, what it. bills you need paying? So yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it helps out. Every, every little bit of help we can get at this stage of our career as well, especially at the start when we're, we're trying to get to the top. It's great. It's great having somebody just put in some. Then I believe in you. You can do it. So it's great having them around. Absolutely. How old are you? Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too sure. He he yeah. looks young. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I like you. Know, <laughs> 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 I like you. Know, <laughs> he looks young. You're, you're debatable. I don't know. Yeah, you could have no, you yeah. said you was 25. Still, I wouldn't still, have said anything. So. Still fresh. Still fresh. But a uh, couple of years, a couple of years, and we'll, we'll get to where we want to be. As long as we've got, we've got a good camp. So yeah, we'll get there. All right. Well, listen, uh, Ben Smith, uh, Billy Anderson. Thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. And uh, yeah, well, listen, we'll hopefully catch up with you ahead of your, your fights um, in Brentwood and yours hopefully on the 6th of May. Yeah, fingers crossed. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll have to big up MTK because they're our main sponsor and <laughs> they keep us going, so it's all good. Uh, all right, boys, we'll catch up Cheers with you soon, all right? Thank you.